Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Um, we about to get into Dwayne almost in tears, speaking about Neek. Lena King exposed the truth. Let's get up. CJ So Cool has been hanging out with Michaela. Now it appears that he completely ghosted her. Were you able to get a hold of him? I don't know. He didn't answer. I called him earlier. He didn't answer. I just called him like five times in a row. I don't want to look thirsty or anything. I just want to know if he wants to post the video. Yeah, but I don't want him to think I'm doing this for clout. It's just like, it's embarrassing that we did this video together and he posted his already yesterday and then took it down, right? Right. And so they know who I am on his post, but on mine, now they're gonna know because I guess they know on his and he's not answering me. But he said he's in love with me. Anyways, it's fine. So Dwayne did but a he podcast. he he's in love with me. Who I am on his post, but on mine, now they're gonna know because I guess they know on his and he's not answering me. But he said he's in love with me. Anyways, it's he says what? I know because I guess they know on his and he's not answering me. But he said he's in love with me. Anyway. Now they're gonna know because I guess they know on his and he's not answering me. But he said he's in love with me. Anyway. What? Anyways, it's fine. So Dwayne did a podcast interview where he spoke very highly of Neek. You can tell he even was starting to get a little bit choked up speaking on their relationship. It's it's very underrated just to have somebody that's just Pushing you, pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. Hmm. Investing in you. Yeah, investing in you, period, especially now. Yeah. Like, so, she's very invested. Like, even when I go overseas, she's always there. Like, every month she coming. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And and that's something that you can't really teach hmm. because she ain't learning for her. It's not like her mom was flying, but, like, she got a kid where she managed, you know, being a full-time mom, uh, you know, having a long distance relationship, working, uh, you feel what I'm saying? So, but it, it, it also, you know, helps me because it's like, damn, you doing all this, you ain't complaining for real. Mm. Like, and I know you got my back. Like, if I know if I go down tomorrow, like, you gonna have my back. So it's, it's, it's a blessing for real, mm -hmm. especially through all the situations I done been in. Yeah. Like, you need some, I need it somebody like right there on my hip like so did they break up, up for because real? it be days i'll be like mr bacon is a nice looking man yeah so she's and like you feel me she right there still you feel me can lay on the shoulder mm. give me a talk help me sometimes it just take a hug like you feel what i'm saying i done i'm i be going through stuff so yeah. i think it's an understatement but i i think it's underrated but i don't think if i wouldn't have had her and and a lot of these times, and I don't know where I'll be. Hmm. Dwayne spoke about a lot of other hey. things as well. I will put a link down in the description to that full podcast interview. But let's move on to this next topic with King and Elena because they too. I think they'll be back together started their own podcast called Misunderstood. Now they spoke on a lot in this first episode, starting with all of the negativity that they've been facing on social media. King even stated maybe he should have left Lena off social media and kept her to himself. Right. Yeah, Go ahead, I have a question. What's up? So we're gonna kind of start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Do you regret putting me on social media? Yeah. <laughs> I do. I mean, let me let me let me say this. Let me say this. I'm glad you and I want to just for real. I say this in effect because I told her this once before. Like in the relationship, like I wish that I would have um like hid you and just kept you so much to myself. Which I'm glad that we are doing this like this because at the end of the day too, it's like it's building us to be stronger than what we would have been if we probably wouldn't have. So now a comment state like King, you didn't just introduce Lena as your new girlfriend. You had to downplay your love for Neek. You lied about Carmen. Mm, he was like, I don't think I was ever really in love. Carmen, when in reality, it was Lena you were with. So no, expecting everyone to have a positive outlook on Lena isn't realistic. There have been other couples who broke up, but the way they handled it impacted how people treated them. For example, although Ken cheated on Deara and many people don't like him, the way he and his current girlfriend, if he has one, conduct themselves doesn't invite backlash. He never lied about another woman, claimed he didn't love Deara, 
or made videos sneak dissing her. And another person left a comment that stated, Lena, when we say King can do better, so can you. Post on your own channel and go where you're wanted. Stop putting yourself through this. Now, I also recently spoke how Wait, Lena- what? He loved that woman. He's saying he don't want to put on- he wish he didn't put on the internet because it ruins things. He ain't wrong for that. Was on TikTok Live and she made the comment that they're not going to be publicly sharing when they get married because of all of the drama that happened at their engagement party. Well, they kind of went further into that. Lena stating that every time they have a good moment, it's overshadowed by something and someone putting out something we, bad. We share a special moment. Something happens where it's like something happens. Yeah, like, we, <laughs> like, it, we, like it never <laughs> failed. We knew like, if, like, if, like when we had a celebration that's coming up and we knew that we just felt the urge of something was going to it. Or, it's yeah. just like, yeah, something always happens or people always are going to have an opinion about something. So I have so much negative stuff that's on this channel. It's just be like, right, you go back on the comments and just read it, you be like, bro, some people just be like, what are you, I'll be like, bro, what are you reading? What are you talking about? Like, and it makes you not want to post Yeah, stuff, it's right? like, why don't I post it for you for? Like, <laughs> These years, it's just so much stuff has been thrown at us. We've made mistakes as yeah. people. You've made mistakes. We've, we've gave people mm -hmm. react. Is this their house? I disconnected. Reactions um, towards things that we shouldn't have mm -hmm. gave a reaction to. I wish that we could go back, but obviously we can't go yeah. back in time. You know, like I wish we would have kept like our relationship more private, more like, you know, sacred because it wouldn't allow so many people to have like all these opinions and negative things about us. And like, you know, even though a lot of people be like, oh, just ignore it, just ignore it. Like, so they both stated that they had a feeling that something bad was going to happen surrounding their engagement party, which house? did occur. I mean, no everyone flaw. was pretty <laughs> upset with them for not getting Kaiser an outfit. But I can definitely understand them keeping their wedding a secret so people don't have the opportunity to ruin it. I mean, they were getting a lot of negative comments. I will absolutely keep the wedding a secret for sure. On this new podcast, people even stating that they were copying Neek and Dwayne. Although everyone is putting out a podcast right now, so I don't see them copying them. I think they're just following the wave. Like literally every YouTuber has a podcast right now. But let's move on to this next topic with Crystal. Now recently I reported that Crystal and Jazz were spotted out at the club together for Jazz's birthday. Well, Crystal went on to Twitter and stated, what's wrong with y'all trying to double back on people you purposely tried to tarnish on the media? Stay your FA away from me. Before I show you what this button do, close that back door. Thank you. So it appears that someone from Crystal's past is trying to double back and this is someone that tarnished her name on social media. Mm. Now it appears that Crystal is no longer with her boo either because she stated, don't none of these in words belong to me i don't care what you heard now so that's crazy how crystal <coughs> was so um so in love now it's a wrap if you guys didn't know crystal was dating a guy named ed coolio but it appears that they may no longer be together now i did see them posting on social media a couple days ago so maybe something just happened within the past day or two but let's move on to this next topic with noonie because she has a new man as well now people are shocked to see that she posted video footage with ben 10 now i'm not that familiar with Ben 10 but it appears that he is an artist and he's best friends with NBA young boy so he's a part of that camp but anyways you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below how do you guys feel about Nooney dating Ben I'm glad Nooney moved the hell on from that other boy y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below I'm done with this video love y'all appreciate y'all hey